Hi, it's me again with Road Roll Tips and Tricks. I did, I did a video on this today, and then somebody emailed me and asked me, how can you make each color a different color than I did today? I did it all the same color. Really pretty easy. I'm, I really wish I would already had a star ready, but in case you didn't watch the first one, I'm just going to take a star, hit P. Pretty important to keep it in the center of the page. Go to Dockers, Corners, and hit apply. Now you see it's it's done pretty good. It did all the corners. I'm going to go with that. Normally I would try to do them individually so you could take your shape tool and select, well, in this case you'd have to turn it into a curve. Take your shape tool and select the inside. And let's go two inches on the inside. And then just an inch on the outside. So to get the outside, I select them all, then hold down the shift and just deselect the six or the center, which I didn't do. Hold down the shift and get, make sure you get them all in the center and it's deselecting them. And then we're going to go just one inch on the outside. I like that look. Now he asks how, how could you get different colors? Well, one way and probably the easiest way would be to take, you could take these three nodes, right click and break them apart. Then take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Now you don't have to do anything to this because we're not really going to mess it up. But then we're going to control D and make a duplicate and move the center rotation to the center and rotate it 60 degrees. And what it is, it's going to fill in that loop. And I'm just control D and all the way around. I'm going to make them a little bit thicker line. That's pretty good. But now they're individual lines so I can make them different colors. I'm going to right click that color. Um, right click. I'm going to go back up to the more brilliant colors. We can leave one of them red. Well, we don't want the red one right next to that one. We can go yellow. We'll leave that one red, make this one green, and make the last one a darker blue. Then, just select it all, control D, and let's rotate it either one or two degrees. Let's go two. That's pretty good. And you get the color. Now, I was a little concerned it wouldn't do the trick that I showed earlier, but it does. If you select it all and go to your pen tool or hit F12, and grab this bar and make it sideways, it does do that thinness and thickness look. So like if you look at the blue lines, they're thin and they're coming back and they actually match. It's pretty cool. Now, the only disadvantage is you can't weld it or combine it because if you combine it, all the colors become the same. And if you weld it, all the colors become the same. But if you were just gonna print it, it doesn't matter. You can always, group it without changing anything and then you could make it any size you wanted to um, that actually gives it a totally different look because now okay there's a little lesson there because of our lines we're not scaled with object if we go here and hit our pen tool and make sure scale with object is on and then we'll we reduce it, it'll have the same size thickness line. It won't all blend in together. That's a pretty cool look. I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.